Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be installing ice scratchers. Skidoo ice scratchers, more specifically, tunnel mount ice scratchers. We're gonna do it on my 2024 Renegade Enduro Gen 5. Stick around, we're gonna unbox it, I'm gonna tell you the tools that you need, and we're gonna install it. Here we go. All right guys, so let's get into it. Uh, so I got some Skidoo Genuine parts, they are Tunnel ice scratchers. Just a nice box, you know, skidoo quality. Model number. And those are the tunnel mount. First thing that I'm going to do is I want to go onto the uh, BRP website and download the instructions. There's about uh, seven or eight pages. It works for Gen 4 and Gen 5. So let's start unboxing. All right, guys. So this is the way the box comes. Some paper there. And then uh, our ice scratchers. So they're gonna fold up into the tunnel like that. Actually have the uh, carbide tips that we're gonna install with the hooks. And for the Gen 5, we're gonna be using these screws. As you can see on the screw, they're already uh, they're already set up for Loctite. The RP quality, can't beat that. Other than that, pretty much everything in this bag is gonna be for Gen 4. You can install these on Gen 4 or Gen 5. Right at the bottom, BRP instructions. Go to their website and download it with the model number. So let's get started. All right guys, so let's look at the stuff we're gonna need. You will need a Sharpie, that's for sure. You'll need a rivet gun. You will need a ratchet with a number 16. You will need your drill and a 1364 drill bit. And you'll need a special tool from BRP. Now I'm lucky because I got a couple of Skidoo buddies that are real Skidoo crazy men. And they've actually filed down this 22 millimeter so that it can fit in a specific slot. Skidoo does offer the part for sale, the actual tool that you need. I believe they want $50 for it. So, I mean, I think what my buddy did is he just bought a nice wrench and grinded it down to the specific thickness of what we're gonna need to get in behind there. You're also gonna need some kind of support stand to hold up your Skidoo. Now, I mean, I'm fortunate enough, again, my buddy lent me his. And that's just going to sit under the tunnel. And that's going to pretty much do it for the parts. Well, you may need to get yourself a cushion for the floor because we will be on the floor. So let's get underway, my friend. Okay, so the first step you need to do is go in the bags and get the little carbide and the little nut. It does have Loctite on it. So what I like to do, this little nut, carbide. I like to just get it started and then take my Allen key and twist it on a bit. And then grab your ice scratcher and on your ice scratcher, you're going to notice a little groove. In that groove is where this is going to go. So we're going to just slide that in like that, line everything up and then just tighten down. And we're going to need to do this for both ice scratchers. Make sure that it's in that groove or you will lose your carbide. Okay, we're in. Tighten down. So we're going to do that for both sides. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the best, but right back there you can see there's a bolt. And that's where that wrench needs to get on. So like I said, my buddy has custom made his. We just need to find out where it's going to lock in. Oh, there we go. So we're going to do that and that's going to hold behind that bolt there. Let's start ratcheting. We go. All right. I'll just remove this bolt 
and it's kind of fallen a bit. Let's see if we get that on the camera, but you can see that it's it's fallen down a bit. So we need to prop that up. All right, guys. So now that we got the bolt off, I don't know if the camera can show it, but as you can see, the the, the bolts aren't lining up. So we're going to have to use that little gizmo to lift up the chassis and eventually get the ice scratcher back in and plugged into spot. That's going to be our next step. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up and we're going to get going on that. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've put a brace under the tunnel and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but now it's completely clear and we can put our ice scratcher on and tighten the bolt. So on Gen 5, we're going to use this bolt and this sleeve and you're going to want to take the sleeve, put it on, put it through the ice scratcher and then the other part on the back and then put it in, line everything up and just tighten it down. Now that we've got everything lined up, I'm just going to ratchet in and tighten it up. Make sure to put that little notch into the tunnel that's on the ice scratcher before you do it super tight. And of course, you're going to want to be able to remove your tool once you're done on the back. So we're going to just do it somewhat hand tight just to get everything in place. And then we'll make sure that we can remove our tool. There we go. I'll just tighten it up. And that's the scratcher installed. So now that we've got it all installed, we have to remember to watch the bolt coming out off the back, that it's not touching the idler wheel. The bolts do come with Loctite, so just hand tight is good. All right, guys, the next step is to take your ice scratcher with the mounting bracket and kind of take the Sharpie and mark the holes where you want them to be. And then we're going to drill them. I had to take a little uh, punch just to mark my holes because the Sharpie with the black, it's very difficult to see. But now we're going to drill those out. So we're going to start drilling the two holes. Keep in mind that you only want to drill through the tunnel and one side of your bumper. Do not go all the way through. You will feel it when you get to the hollow point in the bumper. So let's drill this out. One. Two. Go ahead and get that little bracket mounted on there. Just take your rivets, put them in. And we're just going to make sure that that ice scratcher is going on there the way we want before we actually rivet it in. So that's perfect. That's exactly where we want it to sit. So let's go ahead and rivet. So we got everything in place for the second one. Put your rivet gun on. Make sure to hold it tight. And there you have it. Everything's riveted in place. And that's going to pretty much do it for the scratcher. Let's just go put it on. Okay, so that's the finished product. Hanging nicely on the tunnel. Everything's bolted in nice there. And that's going to pretty much do it for now. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the installation of the ice scratchers on a Gen 5 model. Like I said, that part number will work on a Gen 5 and a Gen 4. Today we installed on a Gen 5 their tunnel mount. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and shooting me a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.